It's uh, September 14th of 22, 2022, late in the afternoon. And today we're working at the, uh, not necessarily the freight liner, a little bit to do with it, but uh, what we've got going on here now is we're uh, getting our uh, gooseneck uh, trailer, or 40 foot ready to travel. We're gonna go recover a uh, dead piece of equipment and uh, it'll be our next project. That won't happen till uh, probably October or so, but uh, I'm getting it, getting things ready here to go. So so far, what we've got going, a couple items here. I just started and stopped the old freight liner here, and it's uh, it did develop this on the Sturgis run. The ignition uh, switch here. I got a spare one right here, but so far, uh, more often than not, you can't shut it off. I have to stall it with the clutch. And even uh, then I can actually start it without turning the key on. So it's, uh, the key is actually, uh, the ignition is actually on all the time. I do have a uh, disconnect switch underneath here and that's how I make sure everything is all shut off. Just up in here, just uh, shut it off when I'm not using it. Other than that, uh, nothing wrong with the old freighter here. We're working on the gooseneck. And the main project I had going on here was winch in place. I've got it uh, fabricated. The mount's all fabricated up there and tacked in with my welding. It's uh, I wouldn't trust my welding, so I got uh, my neighbor across the way here. He's going to come in tomorrow morning and weld it up for me. Be meanwhile, it's just held together with uh, some a uh, little bit of a welding tack and a couple of C-clamps and everything. I got the uh, battery box... Uh, for the winch here. It's independent. It doesn't uh, take a charge from the truck yet, but it's uh, not much of a deal. I just got to run a hot wire from the system that charges up the electric brake battery and run it over to the positive here and that should keep the uh, winch battery charged up. The cat, he's got to get into the darn picture. A couple other things I'm getting ready is, uh, is I do have a um, air hose here in case we have uh, tire troubles this here just hooks up it's a good thing when you're running the equipment with the uh, air brake system I'll just tie this to the live air service service air and that'll give me uh, air pressure right to the back tires of the trailer then I can even pump up the drive units on the trailer or the truck but uh, they're good they're at full pressure it's just these smaller trailer tires guys gotta um, always have something handy I got a spare and uh, which is good but we always need to pump it up I'm gonna just uh, throw a strap over this battery box This is how I end up uh, doing the tail. I just uh, wind it up with a, like a three foot, two or, two or three foot loop. Roll up the tail. Just 
stick it in like that through the handle, pull her down, and that should, there, locks in. That'll just stay tidy for the trip. And then uh, back at the end of the trailer, we got uh, just some uh, uh, blocking. I just got them tied down over top of this uh, rubber uh, track here. You know, when you load up uh, things with tracks or uh, steel wheels, whichever you're going to be loading up. Just protects the decking. I don't have it screwed down. I just held, have it held in with these uh, dunnage 4x4s, etc. Holding her in there. This trailer here is uh, one of the last pieces of equipment. In fact, it is the last piece of equipment that I had when I had my trucking company. Predator Hot Shot and Hauling. And this is the very first trailer that I bought. Trailer number 001. So it's the uh, one trailer I still got, uh, or one piece of equipment, still got uh, left behind here, and I'm going to make use of it on a project home. So anyway, we're going to start her up, and I got to move it ahead. I got to move it ahead so as we can. Uh, my welder that's coming in, he's got a short cord to run his. Uh, little wire feed so he asked me if I could get it in a little closer to the work and uh, that's what we're gonna do so I'm just gonna start it ahead and start it up and drive it ahead and then uh, unhook it pull the truck out of the road and just leave the trailer parked basically uh, where if you can see yeah where the whole sportster is and and the cat pig always trying to get in on the picture. Well, 
that was very strange. Unplug the trailer. So obviously we've got a short going on here somehow. Unplug the trailer. The lights aren't on, but I unplugged the trailer and the truck shut down. So something going on there. We got some kind of a short going on. We'll have to research that. But anyway, we're gonna unhook her here and, and uh, worry about that <clears throat> later, I guess. It's just another project. Well, that'll be it for now. So we got our truck unhooked there, so Corey can come in and do his welding, and, and uh, hopefully we'll get her fixed up. We'll get. Uh, apparently, I don't need to put the ignition switch in. I got a short somewhere in the wiring, so we're going to have to uh, investigate that and and see what's going on there. Okay, we'll catch up to you later.